Assalamu alaikum Pakistan. My name is Faisal Mushtaq and I am the Chief Executive of the Millennium Education. I am talking to each one of you in support of the Cambridge International Examinations May-June 2020. This video and message is for all my Cambridge Associated students, schools, colleges, teachers, parents, guardians and the communities associated with it. With the recent press release of Cambridge which came out yesterday, there is absolute clarity on how the examination and assessment process shall work forward. First of all, my first point is Cambridge International is a 150 year old examination and assessment body and authority. So there is a lot of integrity and there's a lot of history and legacy in the way they have conducted their exams with integrity, with credibility for all these years. Secondly, what are evidence-based grades? How does the process work? What is the difference between evidence, predicted and collaborative grading? So I would like to clarify, these are extraordinary situations and circumstances in the world. This is the largest closure of schools, colleges and universities after the Second World War. So we, have, we do not have much choice. We have to go towards this process called evidence-based grading. How does it work? It is a collaborative process through which centers the Cambridge Associated School. We look at the student coursework, the students classwork. We look at their assignments. We look at their sessions. We look at their mock exam. We look at their topical test. We look at their time, attendance, punctuality. Then step number one is that the center shall determine the predicted grades for each candidate and for each syllabus. Step number two is that the center shall determine the ranking for each candidate and for each syllabus. Step number three will be your principal, headmistress and head of the exam center shall confirm the predicted grades for each grade and for each candidate in a ranking order. And step number four is that the Cambridge International UK shall do the standardization process. This standardization process is not a new process. It has always been there in the history. I wanted to clarify this myth that a lot of these teachers, those who provide private tuitioning or private tutoring, they are not Cambridge associated schools. They are disenfranchised with the system of international provision of exams and assessments. Such private tutors and tuition centers, they are misleading the students and they are trying to tell them that the process does not have integrity, the process does not have equity, the process does not have transparency and accountability. That's fake news. You must have read the press release. There's a lot of integrity, authenticity, and there's a lot of transparency and clarity in the process. If you look at the other exam bodies like International Baccalaureates and other US and Australian high school awarding bodies, the process of standardization, predicted grades based on the evidence, which is collaborative evidence, which the exam body takes and the school takes, it has always been there. Standardization has taken place in the past with different other exam bodies. So what's wrong with this May-June assessment or exam series? There's nothing wrong with it. The only thing which is missing is that you will not be sitting in a British Council approved exam center and taking those exams which are time bound. Now there will be evidence which shall be shared with the Cambridge according to the four steps that we have decided. There will be an absolute transparency, merit, integrity, fairness, equity, and equal opportunity for all. Secondly, internally at our head office, we have a department for Cambridge and international qualifications. We have decided and we have developed a four-step approach internally, and that is called the validation approach. In the first form, we will initiate the process where the head of the school, the principal, shall sit with all the academic coordinators and each subject teachers for AS level, A level, IGCSE 3, IGCSE 2, and they will initiate the process. Second is endorsement. The subject head, the academic coordinator and the teachers, they shall endorse uh, the, the prediction of the, and the evidence and they will also endorse uh, the ranking orders for each child, for each syllabus, for each grade in each Cambridge exam center. Thirdly, 
there will be a process of ratification. The principal, the academic coordinator and the subject teacher, they'll sit together, they will ratify and they will approve. And finally, as a quality assurance agency, independent third party Department of International Qualification, they will go and they will validate every exam centers where they can go physically or they will do it on the Zoom or Microsoft Teams. They will validate the transparency, the integrity and the academic honesty of each and every grade as per the academic and assessment and predictive grade guidelines issued by the Cambridge International to us. Finally, all I want to say is, please do not listen to this fake news. These a lot of young, a lot of people, they are into tuitions, they are into private academies, they have no association with Cambridge as an associate school. All they want to do is to mislead a lot of young people. Listen to your registered school and listen to your school head and trust the Cambridge International with your prayers of your parents and inshallah ta'ala with your hard work there is a lot of evidence all the work that you have done in G2 in IGCSE 3 in O levels in AS level this will come to your recognition to your merit and to your achievement I would like to thank all the parents and the teachers and the school heads and the community and society at large. Together, we stand tall, divided, we shall fall. I thank you all.